I had an IT director in a school district a few months ago ask me to help set up a WordPress blog that was a members only site uh, where he could enroll a few thousand users and just have a private site to share information. So I thought I'd make a video to show you basically how we went about doing that. And I'll make this in two parts. In this first part I'll show you what we used to set up the members only site so that the only people able to see the content of the blog uh, is someone who has a username and password and logs in. And then I'll make another video in a week or so and show you how we actually created the accounts. So in this first one here, this is a default WordPress install. Uh, I'm just running this on a local copy of XAMPP. Uh, it's called WordPress. I'm logged in as the administrator. So if I go into Site Admin and in Plugins, you can see I use the Members plugin here to make this a private site. So if you just go to your Plugins area, click Add New, type Members, then you'll see several here that allows you to create members only sites. So I just use this one here called Members. Right now it's not set to be compatible with the latest version of WordPress, but uh, it still works pretty well. Uh, but there are others. They all do essentially the same thing. But this plugin allows you, when you uh, install it and activate it, uh, then it will add a, another menu under Settings called Members. Let's click on that. And it has a few settings. I won't go through all of them, but a couple I'll show you. Here's the Role Manager. If you enable Role Manager on this, then in your Users drop-down, it'll give you a couple of extra menus, roles, and the ability to add new roles. We'll look at that briefly in a second. Uh, if we go down and then make this a private site, this is what really makes it the members only site, and check uh, redirect all logged out users to the login page, then that will close your site to anyone except the person who has a username and password. And then you can also block the feeds by clicking here to show an error message for any feeds. So let me show you how that works. I'll just click the update settings. If I log out of the blog, now I'm on the login page. If I try to go to the home page of my blog, it won't let me. It just keeps redirecting me back to login. So you can see here in the URL, if I just try to go to the front, it just keeps me here at login. So now I have sort of a closed site that only people who have a username and password can see. So I'll log in just as a normal user that I have set up as a subscriber. And you can see once I log in, then I can see the site. So I'm logged in as Figaro. Figaro is just a subscriber on the site. I have very limited abilities here. I essentially can see my profile and I can see the front of the site. And that's about all I can do uh, as a subscriber. So of course you can create various roles and so forth, but essentially what I wanted to show you here is with that one plug-in, you can create your members only site. And then the second part is getting user accounts set up here on the site now so that uh, users can get usernames and passwords. If you notice on this site here, I've disabled the registration feature, so I don't allow anyone to register. So it's truly a site where the only people who can see the content are those who already have usernames and passwords that I, as the site administrator, have created. Let me log back in as admin for a minute. And you can see on this site under Users, if I click All Users, I have nearly 50,000 users enrolled in this site. Uh, so if you have a situation to where you have the names uh, and email addresses, preferably, of all of the users that you want to create here, uh, then it's pretty simple to go in and bulk add those users. I created this 49,500 subscribers here in about an hour, uh, just using a plug-in and making sure that I set up a CVS file properly uh, and just allowed it to import. So the next video that I make, I'll show you how to create the CVS file and then how to use the plugin to upload those users. And if you want to go ahead and experiment, it's not that hard to figure out. The plugin that I use is called Add Multiple Users. So if you download and activate that plugin and then go to your Users area, you'll have an Add Multiple Users menu. Click that. And there's information here to show you how to create a CVS file 
with all your users and upload it. So you can give it a try. If you have a few hundred you want to create, it works pretty well. If you want to create thousands and thousands like I did here, then you have to disable the timeout feature in WordPress. And I'll show you how to do that when I make the video here demonstrating how to use this plugin and how to create that CBS file and format it properly. Hopefully this will help if you have need to have a private site to share among people to share resources and so forth. It's pretty simple using that plugin and uh, uh, I mentioned earlier the roles feature uh, on the members plugin. There was a setting there that allowed you to enable a roles manager. If you do that under users then you'll have roles and add new role. And really what that does is it just gives you the ability uh, to come in here and see how many users you have with the capabilities and then you could go in on subscriber for example. I enrolled the 49,500 users with a subscriber capability. I could go in and edit the subscriber role if I wanted to give them more privileges. Right now they just have read privileges but I could customize that role a little bit more if I needed to uh, by enabling that. So uh, it really doesn't directly impact making your site private but it does add a little neat little feature there to allow you to customize your roles uh, for your users on the site.